my dear students today i am going to teach you name reaction this is the last part of aldehyde ketone and to study the name reactions uh, you have to know about the alpha carbon beta carbon or gamma carbon the carbon which is bonded with the functional group or the carbon which is bonded with the substitute of organic compounds is called alpha carbon and then the second carbon is beta carbon and the third carbon is gamma carbon in a compound or in an organic compound the number of alpha carbon or beta carbon atoms may more than one it may one or two or three alpha carbon atoms in an organic compound however it my dear students now we we are going to discuss about the aldol condensation reaction first i would like to start from example ethanol ethanol contains alpha carbon and this alpha carbon there is a hydrogen atom at this alpha carbon so and all of you know that ethanol is an aldehyde in the presence of dilute base like sodium hydroxide two moles of aldehyde containing hydrogen atom at alpha carbon react together to produce beta hydroxy aldehyde this type of reaction is called aldol condensation reaction as an example if you observe the reactant side actually from the one molecule of ethanol the alpha hydrogen will migrate to the second molecule of ethanol um, and it is bonded with the oxygen atom of the functional group of uh, second ethanol this is actually i noted this is first ethanol to make you understand easily then the alpha carbon is bonded with the functional group a carbon of functional group of second ethanol molecule then the specific name of this compound is 3 hydroxy butanol but means there are four hydrogen atoms oh, sorry there are four carbon atoms 1 2 3 4 and butanol a nl for aldehyde and as there are a hydroxy group at the three position at the third carbon atom that's why this is three hydroxy butanol but if you consider it as a common name then it will be beta hydroxy aldehyde beta means at the uh, you know that cho this is the functional group of aldehyde that's why ch2 this uh, second carbon is actually alpha carbon third carbon is actually beta carbon beta carbon contains hydroxy group that's why the name of this compound the general name of this compound is actually beta hydroxy aldehyde now what will be the um, statement of aldol condensation reaction in the presence of dilute base like sodium hydroxide two moles of aldehydes or ketones containing containing hydrogen atom containing containing hydrogen atom at the alpha carbon to produce uh, in the in, in, in containing hydrogen atom at the alpha carbon react together to produce react together to produce beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone this reaction is called aldol condensation reaction now my dear students if i um, give you another example propanol in case of propanol there is also a beta carbon uh, but uh, uh, according to the condition of aldol condensation reaction only alpha uh, hydrogen atom of alpha carbon will migrate to the second propanol molecule and connected with the oxygen atom of aldehyde functional group uh, to produce beta hydroxy and the beta methyl beta carbon i mean this methyl group uh, will be as a branch 
in the product then what will be the uh, name of this product uh, 3 hydroxy 1 2 3 position 3 hydroxy uh, 3 hydroxy 2 methyl 3 hydroxy 2 methyl pentanyl 2 methyl 2 methyl 1 2 3 4 5 pentanyl but the gen the common name of this compound is also beta hydroxy aldehyde beta hydroxy aldehyde and now if we consider ketone this is the propanone propanone because 1 2 3 due to the three carbon atoms are the main chain that's why it will be prop and due to the ketonic group it will be propanone in the presence of dilute sodium hydroxide two molecules of propanone react together and in this case in this case uh, the hydrogen atom of alpha carbon from first molecule migrate to the second molecule of propanone uh, and bonded with the oxygen atom to produce hydroxy group and this methyl group i mean the methyl uh, group ch3 of propanone of second molecule will be the branch in this case the product the name of this product will be one two three four it will be four methyl uh, it will be four methyl four methyl four hydroxy pentanyl 2 pentanone 2 uh, the name of uh, the common name of this compound is actually beta hydroxy pentanone beta hydroxy ketone the common name of this compound is actually beta hydroxy ketone because because at the beta position there is a wedge group and this is actually ketone that's why beta hydroxy ketone that's all about the aldol condensation reaction and what are the actually conditions of aldol condensation reaction first condition the reaction will occur in the presence of dilute base like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and there must be uh, hydrogen atom at the alpha carbon those are the major condition of aldol condensation reaction methanol does not give aldol condensation reaction if you observe the structural formula of methanol this is methanol methanol uh, there is no alpha carbon in the structure of methanol that's why methanol does not react to it does not give aldol condensation reaction and again if you observe the structural formula of benzaldehyde this is the structural formula of benzaldehyde and one two this is the structural formula of benzaldehyde and if you observe the structural formula of benzaldehyde you will see that there is an alpha carbon in the benzaldehyde molecule but there is no hydrogen atom at the alpha carbon that's why benzaldehyde does not give aldol condensation reaction actually the formula of benzaldehyde also can be written as CHO bond you know that this hexagonal with a circle in the inner side is uh, actually benzene this is benzaldehyde and the, this is the structural formula of benzaldehyde if you observe the structural formula of benzaldehyde uh, you will see that there is an alpha carbon but without hydrogen atom that's why benzaldehyde does not give aldol condensation reaction now my dear students look at the whiteboard we well, uh, going to we are going to discuss Kanijaro reaction and here uh, first I have to I would like to start uh, by giving uh, an example methanol methanol if you observe the structural formula of methanol you will see that there is no alpha carbon so in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide to 
molecules of aldehyde uh, having no alpha and having no hydrogen at the alpha carbon react together to produce a uh, sort of fatty acid and alcohol here actually first one aldehyde molecule is oxidized to produce organic acid here methanol is oxidized to produce organic acid then this organic acid reacts with the used sodium hydroxide to produce sodium methanoid this is the methanoic acid then the second methanol is reduced to produce methanol or methyl alcohol so what will be the definition of kanijaro reaction or what will be the statement of kanijaro reaction in the presence of concentrated base like sodium hydroxide two molecules of aldehydes are oxidized and reduced simultaneously to produce the salt of fatty acid or organic acid and alcohol this reaction is known as kanijaro reaction the another example of kanijaro reaction uh, two molecules of benzaldehyde reacts together uh, react together to uh, in the presence of concentrated base like sodium hydroxide to produce sodium benzoate and benzyl alcohol in this case also uh, one molecule of benzaldehyde is oxidized to produce benzoic acid one molecule of uh, benzaldehyde is oxidized to produce benzoic acid then this benzoic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium benzoate and another molecule of benzyl alcohol is reduced to produce ben another molecule of benzaldehyde is reduced to produce benzyl alcohol and if you observe the molecule structural formula of ethanol you will see that there is an alpha carbon and alpha carbon contains uh, hydrogen atoms that's why it does not ethanol does not give kanijaro reaction so what are the conditions of kanijaro reaction the reaction occurs in the presence of concentrated base like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide and there must be there is no hydrogen atom at the alpha carbon and those two are the conditions of kanijaro reactions okay my dear students now we will start a haloform reaction to study the haloform reaction first you have to know what is haloform if three hydrogen atoms of methane are replaced by same halogen atoms like chlorine bromine or iodine then the obtained compounds are known as haloform uh, if three hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine then the compound is known as chloroform if a uh, three hydrogen atoms are replaced by bromine atoms then it is known as bromoform and in case of iodine it is iodoform now come to the haloform reaction the condition of haloform reaction is actually uh, there must be methyl keto group methyl keto group in the in the methyl keto group must exist in the uh, aldehyde or ketone this is actually methyl keto group methyl keto group in the presence of concentrated base like sodium hydroxide uh, aldehyde or ketone containing methyl keto group reacts with halogen to produce haloform this reaction is called haloform reaction if i give you an example um, haloform reaction propanone propanone this methyl methyl group actually forms haloform methyl group takes part in the formation of haloform i mean in this case iodoform and the another part uh, ch3 
बॉन्ड से डबल बॉन्ड ऑक्सीजन कंबाइन विथ एन ओ टू प्रोड्यूस सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एन ए आई मीन सोडियम इथेनॉइड एंड देन एनादर सोडियम एनादर सोडियम एटम कंबाइन विथ आयोडिन टू प्रोड्यूस सोडियम आयोडाइड and water so the statement of halophom reaction in the presence of concentrated base aldehyde or ketone containing methyl keto group this is also known as aceto group reacts with halogen to produce halophom this reaction is called halophom reaction and the if you observe the structural formula of propanal you will see that there is no methyl keto monoc at the methyl keto group at the propanal uh, propanal contains a ethyl keto group that's why as there is no methyl keto group it does not give the iodo form it does not give the halo form reaction iodo form reaction is also uh, as an also an example of halo form halo form reaction and my dear students this is ethanol ethanol does not contain any methyl keto group but it does not uh, but it reacts but it gives actually halo form reaction because though ethanol uh, has no a methyl keto group but it reacts with iodine initially to produce ethanol this ethanol contains methyl keto group yeah that's why methyl uh, ethanol in the presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide ethanol reacts with iodine to produce sodium methanoate and iodo form so i can say ethanol gives halo form it means iodo form reaction in this case uh ch3 takes part in the um iodo form formation and this part hc double bond oxygen combines with n nao to produce hco o n a i mean sodium methanoid and sodium combines with iodine to produce sodium iodide plus water that's all about the Hello, form reactions and my dear students. Now we'll uh, study twenty questions related with aldehyde ketone in our next lecture. That's all. No more today. Goodbye.